Hi everyone, it's me, Mrs. Salazar, and I wanna to talk to you briefly about what we've been doing in class. We are multiplying binomials. Now, right here, we're gonna solve some equations, but before we do that, let's review how to multiply using our box, or as your book calls it, the generic rectangle. So, x plus three is our length, and x plus two is our width. And we're gonna multiply. Here's x times x, we get x squared. Here is three times x, and we get three x. Here is three times two, that's six, and here is x times two, and that's two x. Now we're gonna bring that out, and we have x squared plus two x plus three x plus six. Combine like terms, because they both have an x, we have x squared plus 5x plus 6. So that's our answer, and it's a big answer, but that's what we're doing. Now, we're going to transition into equations. When we have an equation, we want to solve for x. Equal sign means equal, <laughs> it means solve. So we'll do our train tracks, and let's change our color here. Now, we don't have to make a box here because it doesn't have two binomials like it did over there. We're going to distribute the negative five and the negative two. I'm gonna do it in one uh, step. Two X stays the same. Negative five times X, negative five X. Negative five times four, negative 20 equals negative two X minus six. Now, I like to get all the x's on the left, so I'm gonna combine these and keep them here. And this is negative three x minus 20 equals negative two x minus six. You want to combine like terms first. Now, I'll bring the x over there, the number over here, and actually, let's add the 20. With my very straight line, and we have negative three x equals negative two x plus 14, and I'm scared, I hope, I hope we don't have a fraction. Now add 2x, add 2x, and we have negative 1x equals 14. And we don't want to leave that negative, so we're gonna divide by negative one. X equals negative 14. And that's your answer. You could double check by plugging that in. Okay, now next question, we'll do two binomials equaling another two binomials. Okay, so now let's do our third example where we have two binomials equaling another two binomials. I'm going to use my box method on both. And please take notes so you can use this on your test, right? X squared, negative one X, negative seven, seven X. Over here, so now we're gonna take that out and combine like terms. And I'm gonna do that in one step. The seven X and negative one X makes six X. The x here and negative three x make negative two x. Train tracks. Oh no, my marker's dying. Let's go to purple. Now I'm gonna take out x squared first and those cancel right out. We have six x minus seven equals negative two x minus three. And again, I want x on the left, numbers on the right. I'll add seven, add seven, six x, equals negative two X plus four. Almost done, add two X. And now we have, this is a funny looking X, eight X equals four. And we divide by eight and four over eight is the answer technically, but we wanna reduce, divide by four on the numerator and denominator and our final answer is one half. Okay, thank you, have a great day.